Good evening and welcome to Richmond High School on this first day of February 2023. <clears throat> it's hard to believe tomorrow is Groundhog's Day already. Max Tony Phil. The uh, year is going by fast. Um, number three, Caleb Thomas starting for the Muskrats. Number 11, Trevor Schaefer. Number 22, Alexander Schweiger. Number 23, Ian Avers, and number 20, uh, I don't see a 20 on my roster. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure that out. <clears throat> Keith Bartels, Chase Church, who's bringing v Richmond Varsity basketball. Uh, we'll get into his game here in a little bit um, when we have some time. So for the Blue Devils, we're going to have number one, Daquan Haskins, starting. Number 23, Sebastian Mays. Number 24, Blake Wojewski. Senior, number three, Marcus Thompson. And 55, Trey Graham. The last time these two teams met, it uh, could have been or was close to being a running clock in the first half. I would expect something similar tonight. Um, the Blue Devils, of course, tonight, and I think it's precautionary. Um, you're going to recognize Carl Stevens not in the lineup. He is in a boot. Um, again, I think it's a, a, some kind of a degree sprain. Um, keep it up, keep him off of it for a week or so. He's not needed tonight. Not I'm not all. sure if he'll be needed Friday or, or not <clears throat> um, up at Emily City, but tonight, um, our directing us tonight and on graphics, Connor Cook. On camera, Bryce Kimmel, again, Keith Bartels, Chase Churchill, um, and Jason Robbins, our producer. Well, before we uh, tip this up, if you're Elginac, well, you got to take the take the air out of the oh, ball. Very, very quickly. There, I mean, last time at Elginac, we were able just to run up and down the court, causing turnovers. And granted, you know, that was with Carl leading the pressure on defense, so. I, if I was a betting man, I'd say that Quan and Mark is going to have to do a lot of the scoring tonight. The game the other night against Marine City, I was kind of surprised Marine City didn't take the air out of the ball a little more. Yeah. They tried to run with the Blue Devils. It's just not going to work. No, they're just too quick and they're too deep. <clears throat> and so I, I think, too, if you're Algonac, you're every time the shot goes up, you say, Adam, we're not even trying to get offensive rebounds. Just get back. So, like, Because that's what we're made to do. Especially right. this team, it's just made to... Ooh. That's an over and back. You wasn't looking. Ooh. This kid, number three for Algonac, uh, Kip Thomas, apparently had 32 against, I want to say, in my city. Okay, so he can play? He's he can shoot the lights out the gym. And he's a senior. That's what, I, that's what I've been told, so... Definitely okay. need to lock him up. If Let's keep an eye on him. 
Blue Devils in that pressure man-to-man. -man. They trap out of it. 11 with the basket. Good start Algonac right there. Yep, Trevor Schaefer. Daquan bringing it up. Playing in a 2-3. Gonna work. Thomas. Showed a little bit of athleticism there. I mean, I know it's a simple layup, but speed, a little bit of speed. To, like you said, just like that, though, you know, you, you score a basket, you can't celebrate, you got to get back to Kwan and the Blue Devils push it up and uh, score before half the, half the Muskrats are past half court. We got 11 checking in for the Blue Devils. He's been an unsung hero in a few games um, this year. Kyle Barnamucci hitting deep, deep threes. Yeah. I thought that was off the duty pass it to him from where I was standing. I thought it should be our ball, but seems like we're just playing straight up man to man. Well, this is this is the type of game where you want to. I mean, you, you, you got to be you got to be careful because you can't send the message that because any given night you know this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody could beat anybody, but you need to maybe try some things. Yeah, work on some things, whether it's defensively, run, replay that was put in this week. You know what I mean, or just prepare yourself for Friday. Yeah. Because put in game situation. Yeah. Exactly. Because regardless if it's Emily City, playing at Emily City, at least from my experience, sucks. Just the, the way the gym is built, the it's, color, the it's tough. aura. There's a lot of room behind those baskets. Yes. And then there's none on the sidelines. It's weird. Right. It's like polar opposite of this of our gym. Where and then the, the bleachers are, are tall. Oh, yeah. It's like a football deep. stadium bleachers. <clears throat> yep. Their hands by a quan. Well, nothing's like those Wayne State bleachers oh, on no, your no, home no, section. No, 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 no. Summers were not fun, let me tell you. Good jump shot by Trey. Yeah, nice jump shot. He's starting to hit his shots a little bit. Good to see. Six for your Blue Devils. The Muskrats, four. Coach uh, called a timeout. They so, the, the reason I think he's calling timeout is his kids aren't getting back. No, no not at all. And, it, and if you don't get back, it, that's a recipe a for disaster. Day. The uh, Blue Devils kind of remind me of the old, and it, even a little bit similar colors, the old Roy Williams Tar Heel teams, you know, they they got up the court. Like the, the best uh, half-court offense is not getting into it. And oh, run, yeah, exactly. And running. Uh, I mean, you got think about some of the kit, the kit dudes they had. Tyler Hansborough, uh, the Zellers, yep. Barnes. Yep. You know what I mean? Because they were all running. Just, oh, my gosh. Tyler Hansborough is one of the best college basketball players. Ever. Ever. It's the same thing with Jimmy Fredette. Yep. Did not have good college or professional careers, but, man, in college. No, he, he was fantastic. All kinds of records. <clears throat> Trey better be careful. I mean, Trey's very good at, like, not, like, contacting because he understands how small he is compared to everybody else. But the more he rides with his body against somebody, like, it's going to start, be start getting called. Now, if you're refing this game, you are just, like, you're just giving the benefit of the doubt. Ooh, good shot. The benefit of the doubt, too. Yeah. I'll be on a lot of things. Uh, you know that it's it, that's one of those fine lines. That's not fair to the game. No, you know? I know. I, I, you, but I, I get but it. you, yeah, I believe that does happen. I, I believe that does happen, and they get caught up into what it should be or shouldn't be, and then they um, sometimes that could be how upsets yeah. happen. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, and 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 for those that know, I mean, I am a huge Carolina fan, and last year, if you remember. Um, when Carolina had um, Baylor down by like 28 points with like 13 minutes to go, and Baylor tied it, oh, went yeah. in the overtime. Oh, yeah. Those that. officials got involved in the the dr the drama and yes. the excitement of the comeback. Therefore, it changed their calls. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And and that's frustrating as players. Oh, I mean, I can't even remember. Like, it's just. Uh, sometimes you, it's kind of like accidental, you know what I mean? Like just one team's fouling harder than the other, so it's more noticeable, and the ticky-tack ones aren't being called. 
Quan's a little off, a little strong so far. I will say this though, you know, I remember the, the Croswell game, Croswell was a little upset. They thought that, you know, the fouls, Blue Devils didn't have very many fouls called on them. Well, the other night against Marine City, you know, for a quarter and oh a half. Oh Lord, that was like a wrestling match. Yeah, but even for a quarter and a half, the, the Blue Devils were beating them to the punch. Yes. And not getting a lot of foul calls yes. because Marine City was always a step behind. So the the Blue Devils play pretty clean basketball. Yes. They just need, like, tonight should be all about good shot by Blake. Well, what they did right there, patience. Yeah. They patience didn't force it. the ball. Like, that's one thing that... I know at least I quote unquote harp on them about in practice. It's just, you don't have to take the first open shot. And it's the same thing with my kids on JV. It's like, move the ball around, let the defense basically tell you what's gonna be open and say like, oh, I'm open, I should shoot this. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, let the, let the play develop. Uh, Jalen Browning and Sebastian Mays checking in for the Blue Devils. Yeah, the, and the other part of that too is, you want them to work on defense. Yes. And if you're shooting for a shot, not making them work and not making them move, then they're resting. That's got to, that has to be more ready to shoot that. Short on that a little bit. Big shot there. I'm telling you. That Thompson just, or Thomas. Algonac has a chance in this game if he shoots the way he can and has in the past. See, like, here's the thing I don't like with, with, with what Richmond's doing right now is they're trying to match, like... Right. Like, shooting if they shoot a three, we have to shoot a three. You know what I mean? Like, like don't play down. Like, play up. And, like, that's and that's the problem with the team. Like, I'm going to... Excuse me. Is that, like, they've never been super basketball talented. But they're physical, and they get a couple of buckets here and there to go their way, and they're in a ball game. 32 checking in. We don't have his name on our roster either. Yeah, I would like Mark to shoot that. Like, I think Mark is a very confidence type of player. Yep. He just needs to see one go. Well, there too, you'd like to see Bartolomucci, Bartolomucci square to the basket. Yes. Draw the defender in and then go over him. Yep. You can already tell just from if for people watching videos on YouTube or on Comcast, it's that like that just the, the energy isn't the same without Carl. Like Carl is the leader, Carl is the quote unquote star of the team. And so, especially these next two games, at least, very least, someone is going to have to step up and be that. I don't know, Energizer Bunny that like yeah, you can, you, starts starts the battery up. Yeah, you need that spark. Yes, I, I there's the word. I yep. can't think of the word. I certainly think that Daquan can do it. Yes. Um, I think he's the best shooter on the team. Absolutely. Um, but it, it, it starts inside out or outside in um, with being focused. And tonight, tonight might be a good day to... Um, Work on that patience to let your offense work. Gavin Yellen is stepping into it. Nice shot. He's, he's spent a lot of time with Jim developing that shot. I mean, he can hit it from three. He has the best form I think I've ever seen in a jump shot. He has good form, and uh, he drilled one the other night against uh, Marine City, too. Uh -oh, freight train. It's a charge. Yeah, they call it charge. Got his feet set. Yep. I would like to see him just jump stop and just nice little floater off the glass over top of him. Because that's how Albanac is also going to get into this game too, is getting certain guys into foul trouble, make it a bench game technically. Big student section on a Wednesday night. Yep. Now, I think Mark is the best defender that we have. Well, he is. He is. I, I agree. I think Carl Trey, can lock you down, yeah, too. I think Trey is the more, quote-unquote, annoying one. That was a good no-call. I like the no-call. 
Good job by Joey, hustling. Yeah, it was a good hustle play there by Joey. Ooh. Uh, he changed his call to blue ball. I think he was blue checking ball in. I think so, too. I think he pointed the wrong way. Yep, blue ball. I think, uh, I think Presnell's doing a good job tonight, though, getting a lot of the, those jerseys into this game yeah. because... Again, anything can happen, and I don't want to yeah. down, downplay it. Good hands there by Daquan. Good finish. That, he's good. He's unselfish. You know, he he doesn't force it a lot. Maze from the corner. Long. You know, some teams have been able to stay with the Blue Devils for the first quarter, but... Like Armada did the last game we did. Yeah, and then um, Marine City did the other night until like the last minute, which is yeah. what we're coming to here. And that's why I was surprised they didn't take the air out of the ball a little bit. But, uh, but the Blue Devils being so deep, being so quick, yeah, and eventually hitting their shots... Good um, job by Gavin Yellen and boxing them out. Yep, can run just about anybody out of a gym. Three of them. Gavin yelled, it's knocking it down. He has a nice stroke. A foul. Maybe Gavin's going to be the spark. I think that was a foul, personally. Nice left hand by Mays. Nice look from Dequan. See, we just talked about it. We're in yeah. that minute section right now, and all of a sudden it's 11. Game getting away from Elginac. Well, Croslex, uh, Barlamucci comes up huge. Mm -hmm. um, and he came up pretty big uh, the other night with some buckets mm -hmm. um, against Armada. Yep. Um, tonight seems to be a Yonich show. Tonight's Yonich, you know, so that's what makes this team tough yes. is let's say, okay, your star's not playing tonight. Yep. Okay, so who's going to step up? You know, is it going to be Dequan? Marcus is, like you said, more of your quarterback out there. Um, Trey's your, you know, a defender out there. He's been getting hot and nice shooting lately, too. But you get, is it going to be Mays? Is it going to be Rajewski? No. It's Yelnick. A lot of weapons. So Elginak. With 38 seconds to go, they've used two timeouts already, two of their five. I'd like to see him give that one up, but I'm thinking, I think I would like to see him go to Joey in the corner, like earlier. In worst case, if the guy then gets collapsed, it back. Yep. yeah, just give it back. Give Leaves, it go. Yep. Leaves to defend it and then leaves you wide open on the box. And Grant, we're sitting up here so we can't <laughs> really see the angles no. of everybody. But ideally, that's... So you got to think, it was a three on two. You had Bass on the left, Quan in the middle, Julia on the right. Ooh, just off the front. Quan's second shot here. Algonac, 22 seconds to go. You wonder if they're going to be a little more patient with the ball. Yeah. They uh, forced it a little bit there early last time, last possession. Ooh, good shot by 22. All kinds of pressure Three, on him. Two. Quan's Alexander Schweiger. The front shot doesn't go. That cuts the 12 point lead to nine. Uh, Blue Devils 19. Muskrats 10. Keith Bartels, Chase Churchill bringing you Richmond Varsity basketball versus Algonac on February 1st. 
day before Groundhog's Day. We have Connor Cook on graphics and directing tonight. Bryce Kimmel on camera. Jason Robbins, our producer, does a great job bringing you many local Richmond TV events. Well, your team's playing better. Um, it's an upgrade, yeah, for sure. Last, you got, you're running two in a row, and um, your game against Marine City the other night, I think that was the first game where they were physical. Yeah, you know, I mean... Yeah, and I get it. Still JV, you still got to learn and develop. And they're young. I mean, yeah, they're young, young for sure. Team. I think where my frustration as a coach, and you and I have talked before about it, it's just that, like, if we're going to lose, I'd rather just lose because we're not making any shots and it's just not our day rather than jogging or not doing what your coach to do on defense or not boxing, like the little things, you know what I mean? That's because frustrating. There's going to be games where, like, no one can make anything like there's a lid on top of the basket like i get there i've been there i've played in games like that i've had games like that you know what i mean but like i'll be darned if it's because we just get out beat effort wise and i don't know if that's my military upbringing uh, well, i getting, don't know no, i agree i'm old school getting beat by uh, by lack of effort that's a tough pill to swallow yeah. you can get out skilled you know you shouldn't ever get out hustled you shouldn't get out gutted you can get out talented yep and sometimes you're off, but yeah. your effort should never be off. So the Blue Devils get it here to start the third, or start the second. Yelnich, good nice pass, pass nice good shot. Finish. That's good unselfish basketball there. I thought he was going to shoot it in all yeah. honesty. Yep. Right. Nice little heat check. Yep. And great awareness and body awareness. Nice shot there by 20. Uh, awareness of Trey Graham to get that ball um, running, you know, driving to the hole. 20 is Hunter Phillips. Played on JV the first time we played him, so I think he got a little call up to the big leagues. Yep. Rajewski. Ooh. Nick was almost open on a Wednesday night. Yeah. Well, that's February 1st. Got to get it in before Groundhog's Day. Absolutely. Got to go see Pax Tiny Phil tomorrow morning. Yes, indeedy. What do you think, early spring? Or? I think late spring. I think we are not done with winter. Uh, because it's been a very... This has been the only week where it's really been cold. Oh, I know. But here's the thing. like This week is cold, but the next week 50? isn't. 50 yeah. again. You know what I mean? I like listen. I get it. Michigan is very bipolar with weather. It's cold is hot, hot is cold sometimes. Right. But at the same time, like come on. Like if we're gonna stick with cold, let me just be cold. I agree. Like make a decision to stay yeah, that. Exactly. Way. You know we can't tell Mother Nature that. But nope. I just wanted to be warm again. Still southern blooded at art. Well, there's nothing like that spring smell in the air with. Oh. Nice shot. shot by Trey. Trey, he's starting to feel it. Shot he's falling. getting more into basketball shape, not football. Yep, and his confidence. Twenty-five, twelve. Elginac having a difficult time handling the pressure and the speed of the Blue Devils. Ooh, he's been very close on over and back a couple of times. Ooh, step back. Gonna be on the gr Ooh. floor, little reach. That was a bit ticky tack, in my Did, opinion. Yeah, it was a little nickel dimer. Did three play in the first game? Mm -hmm. He did. Yeah, he only had like 12 points though, and they all came in like the fourth quarter. Yeah. First half, he couldn't make anything. Trey again, short. Oh, Blake. Yeah, he's got to get a little stronger down there. Not stronger. I just think like. This is like an NBA game, trading threes back and forth. 22 is going to get teed up. He's going to get a tee. Uh, he, he, he said something pretty inappropriate. Yeah, he did. Yeah, He's I, making the face like he didn't, but he really did. You know, I, I saw it, and, I, and he mouthed that Alex Swagger. Alexander Swagger hit a nice three from the top, and he's... 
That's just a warning, right? That's not a foul. Like how? I, it like should a, be a foul or a warning. It should be a foul or a oh. technical. One of the two. That's and three uh, on number twenty. I don't know if I'm the Elgonac coach. I'm pulling that kid right now. You gotta, you gotta settle him down and say, mm -hmm. hey, you know, no we're need to. In, we're already in the one on one. Well, again, you know, you're Algonac, and there's not very many fans here, but you're Algonac. They can't say that it's it's one-sided officiating. The Blue Devils are just quicker to the ball. No, yeah, absolutely. And when you're a half step behind, that means that half step, you're 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 fumbling over yourself, and you're causing um, another. Maybe a little nickel diamond there. See, too. now this is where I think the refs try to even it out. Like, they could see the teeter totter, teeter totter going there. Eh, so we got to, like, level it out. Because you're right, it usually does even out. Yeah. And as a coach, I'm when I'm on the latter end of it, good shot. Yeah, good shot by 11. Trevor Schaefer. Trey bringing it up, 508 and counting. Bartolomucci looking to check back oh, in. Uh, come little on. Yeah. Those are the things that drive you into Presnell nuts. You know, Do that's you an unforced. Call timeout if you're Josh? I mean, to you off. Uh, yeah, I mean, if Elginac scores here. Then yes. Yes. Just to settle the team down and say, we can't be having unforced. No. Unforced errors. Because a lot of the time, they're beating themselves. Like that was a bad pass by Quan. Yep, not taking care of the basketball. Missing a free throw. Ooh. See why? I don't understand why See, he's. I don't know why he's calling that. It shouldn't be unless it touches, Correct. right? Correct. It has to either hit the the rope any or of, the side, like pillar thingies. I any of the supports yeah. for the basketball. Like if it rolls along the top, that's not out. Nope. Unless it hits the the, the supports. Yeah. See, I, I never understood that. Yeah. I don't, I don't know either. It's oh. See that again. Turnover, yeah. turnover, yeah. turnover, turnovers. Can't be playing Ooh. sloppy. Good shot. Never mind. I lied. Good pass. Nice pass. Right on. And Trey having the speed to get out in front. But if there's one thing that kid is, he is just. Uh, like a lightning bolt. He's fast. He's fast and quick. And that's probably why he's got a um, future in football. Oh, absolutely. Because there is a difference between fast and quick. Yep. Like, now he's both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nuts. Nuts. 10, Joseph McCohen. Conch needs to get one to go, and there it is. Deep shot by Daquan. Now just it's like, back up to where it yep, should be. Just like around. that, you're up 13. Eight, eight to 13, quickly. Now, if you're out gonna, ooh, push off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if that hit 23 <laughs> down there. I know it hit Bartolomucci. Oh, good athletic play there by Bartolomucci. Go up. Go up again. Back to Taquan. He hit his last one. Oh, he, I would like to see Jalen pass that. Jalen hustling Bardo. his butt off. Nah, I'd relax. 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 Bartolomucci was uh I thought he was gonna try to tip it. Working hard there as well. Oh, it was a jump ball there. I thought, I thought it, was, it was gonna be three seconds. Yeah. That might have been a, a better call. Yes. I was afraid he was gonna call traveling. It certainly wasn't traveling. I was watching that pivot foot. Two and fifty-nine to go. Ooh. That's that's welcome to varsity basketball right there. He's playing on JV, number 20, Samuel Lombard. He's a ninth grader. Duquan hitting another one. Yep. 
found he's, his little honey hole. He's two of three for three in his last three. Blue Devils up 16. It's a pretty energetic student section. I think if you're Algonac, if you can get it, keep it at 15 or below, it's a win. Yeah. It was yeah, and cut it to, yeah. And cut it, yeah, and it was, yeah, with the score, I think there was like 53 to like oh, 18 yeah, or something bad. at halftime. It was bad. So, like, that's what I mean. If I'm their coach, I'm like, all right, 16. Yep. We're, we're, we have a chance. And cut it cut it to 10 by, like we said in the uh, Armada game, cut it by 10, and you're happy keeping it a game. Daquan. Oh, holy Lord. He's down. He yeah. can't get hurt. Yeah, he's okay. Good hustle there by Browning. That was a foul. Came across his face. Their coach wanting a tee. He just got teed. <laughs> oh, he called timeout. I thought I he called he a tee. I think he was doing it, oh. but he took it out of timeout. That's his fault. Yep. 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 He wanted to know why he, this guy took what he thought was... Uh, I think it should have been a warning. Yeah, it should have been another warning, but, you know, you, you got to let it go. He just wasted another timeout. Oh, so now you only have, what, two left? Yeah, that's three timeouts. Holy Lord. You know, you're down 50, 18, like you said. A minute and 30 left in the first quarter. The Blue Devils went on a little 5-0 run. 7-5-0 run, something like yep. that. And then they do another one of those, you know, you're talking almost 25, almost 25 and lights out, you yeah, know, it's night night. And then you got to worry about the chippiness. Yes. Cause you know, cause there's been a, some John back and forth. I don't know if the Richmond player was John at the official. I think he was John saying, at three or is John at three. I'm going to give it a bit of the doubt. He was saying it was an and one. I think, he, I think he, what did, he, was saying. He, he did get hit. Oh yeah. So far, every game this year, though, the Blue Devils have been able to stay under control and stay poised. Yes. And this is going to be another one of those situations because it could, this could get ugly chippiness-wise. Can't believe the contact there. That's varsity basketball is very physical. Oh yeah. Why did he stop? Ooh. All ball. That was all ball. Looking okay. at coach is not, not happy, but that, that was all ball. ball. He fell because two masses met and they both fell. Yep. Yeah, there was no body. Oh no. No, that was just straight hand on ball. Yep. Don't hold Quan. Yep. Good job by Browning. Uh oh. Oh, oh that, that's, well, how's that not a T? Yeah. And they're letting this this official right here is not going to blow his whistle. Oh, Marcus. Yeah. Got to be too cute. Yeah. And, you, you know, that Thomas, too good of an athlete, too good of a ball player to bait into that pass. Yes. Block on 20. He's going to get teed up, too. That's four fouls. I'm pretty sure this is fourth. It would be one and one for Marcus. The rest need to get a control of this. That right was now. a hard foul. 
Not sure how many. That's, That's his fourth. fourth. Holy Lord. He's got half their fouls. Yikes. Dequan on the line. Marcus. He's talking to him right now. Marcus. Marcus is on the line. Look at him, still talking. Holy well, Lord. see, they always get the re retaliator. Because yeah, yeah, 20 was drawn the whole time. Yeah. This is bad. Yep. I'm surprised the coach kept 20 in for as long as he did. Yeah, I'm too. Oop, short. Oh. Jump ball, it's going to be white ball. Twenty-three was arguing, thought it was a foul. It wasn't a foul, it was a jump ball. Good decision there. Browning. Run a play. Run a play. Relax. He's been a magnet for that ball today. Yes. Browning. Some hustles. I don't like that shot. Man, like he that just one. can't buy a basket down in there. Relax, relax. Nice job there, Relax. being tenacious with that ball. Dequan, too easy with the floater in the middle. Stepping up his game, 38-17, Blue Devils. Right here for the Blue Devils, you don't want a stupid uh, foul. On the foul, on Is the he on the ground? On the floor, on the floor, on the floor. Should be on the floor. Oh, they're going to let him shoot. He was on the ground. He was on the ground. He was on the ground. No, he was not. He was not shooting, sir. No, okay. They changed it. Mays into the ball game. No foul, don't no foul. Yep, that's a foul too. Yep. Look at you, Dunk. Now that's out of bounds. Yeah. Because it's stuck up there. Now that? Yeah. 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 Gonna have to I've it. never seen that. I think in all just my... Just in the... Yeah, just in a little pocket. Yep. Well, they called the foul first. Oh, gotta yeah. put some more ump yeah, into gotta it. Gotta put some, some mustard on it. Well, nope. Nope. Do, 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 do. Start the start the Jeopardy music. Yeah. Had a boy. Had a boy. <laughs> Dennis says, "I'm going to show all you young kids how this is done." <laughs> Team's fourth foul. Well, no, don't, no dumb fouls if you're rich in the 20 seconds left. No. Nope. That's deep. Now that, that hit, now that, because yep. it hit the. Yep. I don't know, cable. It's not cable, but yeah. the, the gear. Uh, safety strap. Safety strap. Thank you. Yep. That's out. Eleven seconds here. The Blue Devils will certainly. Oh. And that's not a. Oh, ball. he can't kick the ball. He called it a. He called it a kick. He kind of went in and took his legs out. Yeah. Trey just waited a little bit too long to, to grab that. Dequan. Boom. Five, two, one. Oh, he's a foul. Yep. Bass. Yeah. Bass. And he's don't in, matter. And he's yelling at the all ball. ball. That's, he said an all ball. You don't get it back the, up. Yeah, it's a. If he makes it half court, he makes it half court. Just gave up three possible three free points. Yeah, and and right now it it's not a, a do or die tonight. No, but in a important like a yes. Cross Lex game yeah. or so an Armada game, yeah. like that that can be the difference of the ball game. And this needs to be the teachable moment here tonight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you don't challenge that there. No, just put your hands down if you want to stand in front of them. Mm -hmm. Run right by him, clap, do something, but. Oh. 
He made two out of the three. So that's the only good part of that. He's only made two out of three. Blue Devils 41, Algonac 19. Keith Bartels, Chase Churchill, Connor Cook directing and on graphics. Bryce Kimmel on camera. Jason Robbins, our producer. Come check us out on Richmond TV 12 YouTube channel. We will be back for the second half after this. All right, welcome back. Second half here. Start this third period. The first two periods was all Blue Devils. Um, they um, were able to, they didn't have to weather any storms, but they had to um, clean up their play a little bit. Yes. Some unforced errors and not being into a groove. Five. And it's their first time without uh, Carl. So that first time without Carl. Last time you played him, you had a running clock that would have been running clock. It was second half. It was 53 to something in the teens at Algonac. Blake. And uh, so that's, it's tough. Good uh -oh, anticipation uh -oh. there by... Good job by Trey. Yep. Controls his body. Nice job. And you notice the ref was looking right at him. Good job not to say anything because I think they talked about it at halftime. They're going to try to nip it in the butt a little bit. Illegal screen. Yep. He was set, but he leaned into him. Yes. He's, he turned around to the coach and said, I was set, but you leaned into him. You can't. You can't do that. No, sir. This second half, I think for me, I want to see the Blue Devils just run offenses through. Get good shot, get great shots, not good shots. I would agree. I think the message probably from Presnell and the coaching staff was uh, at half at halftime there was keep your composure. Yes. And run the offense. Uh, get good shots. If that was a good shot. Yes, it was. Wide open. Yep. Nice play out of bounds. And it did everything but go down. He's counting. Good no look. Man, he can't buy a basket down in there. Maze and Browning no tonight. Foul, no fouls. No fouls. Oh. You cut him off. It's going to be on the ground. A little ticky tack, but that's, uh, yeah. like, that's the thing that Richmond has to expect yeah, right now. That's certainly on the floor. Oh, yes. He went to the free throw line. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, it's clearly on the ground. He was not shooting. No. Yep, see? He fixed it. Yep. I did check the little stat book at uh, the half. Quan, had, guess how many he has? Uh, 15. 20. Make it 22. 22. <laughs> yeah, see, he's a very quiet 22. Yeah, he's uh, he's a good ball player, and he can do that every night, you know. But he doesn't. Oh, see, Kennedy. here's my thing. It shouldn't be this ref back no, here to call. Well, it has to be him. Yeah, he's right there. He doesn't blow his whistle. No, he does not. And that was, a, I think, that was a good call. Player was out of control. He was set. He checked. Don't foul, Quan. Got uh, PJ yelling, don't reach, don't reach. Good pass, nice pass. Good job. Yep, this is good. Mid-range jumper, Trey. Good you, shot. Yep, you're okay with that offensive set. You had three or four passes. You didn't take the first shot. Had a wide open shot. Barlamucci checking in. <coughs> Barlamucci checking in. For Mays. Mays is, he's gotten frustrated a little bit tonight. Yes. Nice pass. Oh. That was a cornerback strong safety going up and high point in that pass. Dre yes, there absolutely. Showed, showed his skills, wanted the ball and the pass more, so he went and got it. 
See, here's my preference. I never liked the bounce pass while I was running because there's the spin. You know it I mean? did like, slow that down. You, know, you can like take a bad hop in ba like in baseball. You know what I mean? Take the wrong little. Ooh. Good, good, good defense by Mark Marcus. Yep, good hustle back there for the Blue Devils. Now Dragon that's not they a had, good shot. They thought they had numbers. And that's a foul. Yep, that's a frustration foul. Yes. <clears throat> Twenty three was saying something to his coach. I couldn't quite hear what he was saying. Officials are talking over there. Muskrat ball. Can you get beat over the top? Good good job by three controlling his body. Good defense by Bardo. Yep, good job getting back Ooh. there. Oh. Did everything but score. Ooh. Nice job there, Daquan. Player control. On that previous possession, they traded a real nice job getting back. And not and fouling. Not fouling and, and, and being a presence for the guy, for the kid to change the shot just enough for it to, to roll, roll off. off. Yep. Yes. Rajewski at the line. Uh oh. Didn't get the shooter's touch on that one. He's got to shoot it up. Can't shoot it as a line. Better. Yep. You can tell by the rotation. Good defense by Marcus. Yeah, he's so quick he can beat him on the angle and, and use his body so it's not so it's not a foul. Not a five? And they started counting late. Yeah, that was, he wasn't counting that whole time. Daquan, is that 25? I think. Yeah, well, he had be. 22. Yeah, I don't know 25. If he, and he missed the, the, the bunny? Yep. No way, right? Yeah, now that's, that's uh, getting a little 27, 27, 27, 27. A little too selfish by number three there. Make so check. Yeah, number three there taking on Trey. Knock that one I down. I think if I'm Coach Josh, I'm taking Trey out. Just don't even, yeah. Just yeah. Don't, even, don't even. Don't even try things. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so well, that's good, though, because you don't want him to get cheap no, shotted. Cheap shotted or anything extracurricular. Yep. So that's 27 for Daquan. He's yep. having a good night. Absolutely. Like I said, he could do that every night. 29. Uh, but he just does, He just. he's unselfish. It's fun to watch. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah. He had about a half second too late on that. Right idea just needed to be executed a little quicker. Five? Five? Oh, close. Hands off. Play with your feet. Yeah. See, and it's again, it's the ref from here calling yeah. that foul. He's just here for the moolah. Yeah, I think, or he's, or he's so new that he doesn't, he doesn't want to be ticky tack. He do, and he doesn't, he doesn't know the game, and yeah. he's not, not ready to call a game. I think that's not a bad move getting Daquan out too. Yeah, Isn't, Daquan, it, Daquan it, just said coming out. I'm not 27, coach. I don't think he's done. Oh no, no, no. I think they'll let him get the 30. Yeah, he might play another two minutes or so, but you know, you don't want to. Have Overuse them and get an yeah. injury, and then you're down two. A lot of contact for no call there. Oh. 
And that's the point where he's being a little too unselfish. Yeah, he knocked those he knocked those ones down earlier. Blue Devils up 28. Push off. Thomas scoring. He's going to have a quiet 20. You know, yeah. Oh, hand down, man down. Hand down, man Throwing down. From the corner. Oh. Pushed it a little too far. No foul, carry. Yeah, I thought so too. He, he turned it and kicked in. Yeah. Carrying it's not turning it as much anymore. It's it's when you're moving forward Ooh. with it. Thought that was a travel. Walking into it. Ooh. Three and twenty to go. So the officials. I think Bro's the wrong guy to start talking to. <laughs> Unlike his siblings, he's the the brute of them three. Yes. So here's my question. I'll wait till after his possession to ask. One of them's got to fall. Uh oh. Cherry picking oh. 22 here. Good job by Jalen not fouling. But here's my question. How come the hop into the shot is not a travel? I, I agree. I think it should be. Okay, if, if I'm Fresno, I might call timeout here in a minute. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because they're getting sloppy again. You know, it, yes, it's a runaway, but you, you don't want to start creating bad habits exactly. in a game situation. Player's going to shoot it. Yeah. Oh, and then he blows his whistle. Yeah. But yeah, like that's my question. Like I feel like if you're if the pass is on air and you hop into it, it shouldn't be because both of your feet are landing at the same time. Right. Right? But if you catch and then one, two, I could see how that could be a travel. I've I've often wondered that myself. Justin Smalls checking in. Eight. Two and 35 to go in the third. There, I know there's there's not a lot of uh, Algonac faithful here. I know they're not real happy with the officials, but it, it's not the officiating. I can tell you that right now. They're just getting outplayed. Ooh, shoot it, Gavin. It's a two. Thomas. That should have been a charge. Even if anything. Raise. Be... Oh, here we go. Oh, I tee him up. Been talking way too long. Yeah, he's been talking a whole game. I think I, if I'm Coach Josh, I'm getting Marcus out. Yeah. Can't lose. Yeah, you don't. You don't want a cheap shot. Twenty three is gonna get a tech eventually. Short. Three with the fadeaway. Oh, just a little bit stronger on that. That would have been a nice, nice shot. It was a good take. Joey Simmons getting back and getting in the passing lanes there. Not on my watch. One and twenty eight to go. What are you running? Somebody's got to get to you. Turn and shoot. Good pass. Ah, got to get a little stronger there, too. Browning. It's got to be your ball. You got to get it. Go after it. Good defense by Justin. This one-on-one -on -one basketball. It ain't working, coach. 
Quan check it back in. Yeah, Mark is coming out. See, and I think it's good to have at least one of them in, especially with a lot of the younger guys. Yeah. Like, he's, like, got to be the floor general. Like, everyone calm down. Grand, they're probably trying to get him one more basket, too. Browning from the corner. Oh. But I... Yeah, let Good pull up out. Yeah, yeah. nice. I'm, I'm with you, though. I'd like to see him run a little bit more of an offense. Twenty-nine seconds to go. Oh, foul. Charge. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> not happy. I couldn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see him. College, that's not because you can't take a charge in that circle. Uh, half circle. Yep. He kept his composure on that one, though. Well, See, last the shot the, here. about this half already is that it's 5-5. Five, five. Yep. Even. 30? 30? 30. 30. He's had a great game. He's a good shooter. Been on my uh, Daquan Haskin train for a little while. Good defense by Smalls. Yes, it was. He dribbled off Elginac's foot. What's the over-under that we get a technical here before this game's over? Uh, oh. Ooh. The over-under? Uh, yes, it's probably at minus 1,000. So, okay, I'm going to say the over-under, I'm going to say two, two technicals. One by each? Two total. Oh, under. Under. I'm thinking one. So two's a push, right? Yeah, two's a push. I'm taking under. Well, we might get we might get two and then one. Yeah. Uh, if it was closer, I don't know. I'm, I think if there's any, it's by the coach of Algonac. Yeah. 56-29, all Blue Devils. Um, Daquan stepping up big. We believe he's at 30. I think he's at 30. He had 20 at half and uh, hit a three and a two and then hit two free throws. And then that last three, if we're right, see what the uh, Blue Devils do here. Now, if you're Coach Presnell, you want to survive, stay injury free. Good job. That's good offense. Yes, it is. Get the ball in the middle. Three doubles up 29. Uh, yes. Oh, I saw again. Well, number 50, he played in the JV game. Yes. Good, 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 good give and go. Yep. Good play. The uh, 50 played fairly well in that JV yes. game. Um, there's some good rebounding. Short. I thought a few Ooh. times though he was going over the back. Oh. See if I'm rich I'm just playing 50. Like just play half court man. Full court is going to get you A foul trouble or B worse. Good defense again. Yep. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. That was either a travel. Oh, that's a push. Seven oh five to go. Blue all blue devils. Elgonac doesn't have quite enough. I think you give Quan one more minute. And look at that, he's got 30 and they're up 29. And he is still being diving on the floor. On defense. I'm gonna take it out underneath. Good hands again by Justin. 
Yeah, he's got good hands. He's quick. Very quick. John Gibbons, 22, looking to check in. They're going to need a good offseason from him. Good shot. I think he has at least 20 now, right? I'm thinking that. Yeah, he's close. It's a very quiet 20. Well, I'm shooting it. Get it back. But with the departure of boom. 33. He's hitting. So with the departure of um, Daquan and Stevens, Marcus. Yeah. It's a big uh, offseason. Yelnich, Bartolomucci, Mays, Majewski, you know, Gibbons. Uh, traveling there. <laughs> oh, who's that? So Gibbons, Bartels, Simmons, Yelnich, and Smalls. And Smalls. That's moving, in my opinion. I think so too. Oh, the thin one. Good shot. Good shot. I don't know if he if he is trash talking, he shouldn't be. It's gonna be six six. That has to be five. Yeah, he's got a lot. Third? Third. What? Like to see uh for a varsity basketball game uh trend teach uh coach day here how to put the fouls and the numbers up on yes. the scoreboard. Ooh. Ooh, oh, she was touched. No. Good job by Joey. No foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. Don't foul. Not 90 feet away. No. I was say, they hit another one. That's that's a ball game. Yep. 20. It's, right now it's 21. Good shot there. As he gains confidence, he's going to be a good ball player. Absolutely. I think he needs to grow a little bit. Just a little. Oh, yeah. you got to get stronger. Yeah. Someone's going to shoot a three. Who's it going to be? 22? Step back. Yep. Again. Ooh. Good. good box out. Thirty-two. I'll put Simmons on the line. Six. Well, seven, six now. Yeah. Number four. Northam checking in. Durst checking in for the shooter Simmons. Ooh, in and out. Again, call them the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> yeah. Gibbons taking it hard to the hole. Oh, oh, oh. Not quite. Yeah, it's going to be on John. He pushed him down. He's going to be shooting. Yeah, he's going to be shooting. Fan favorite. Ooh, short. Oh, see that's on. Yeah, you can't. See, that's the problem I think I see too much, even on my kids on my team. It's like they try to tip it up to themselves. So just going up. Instead of grabbing it. Grabbing it. Yep. Like, granted, I could not jump in high school at all. So I'm like, you know what? If there's yeah. anything I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab. You had a sheet. You had a sheet of paper vertical in high school. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Jump ball. It's gonna be Elginax ball. But yeah, 
Gibbons going to have to have a big offseason, like I said, with those departures. John, uh, Joey. I think Joey's going to need to have a good offseason. Good defense by Logan. Good defense. Ah, just didn't finish. Oh, no. Never. Never. Never under your own hoop. Good job, Logan. Gibbons man. gets in there and gets it. Uh-oh. Did he shoot it? Oh, look at that. Oh. Ooh, yep. Wow. Yep. Keith Bartels, Chase Churchill, Richmond Varsity Basketball, home BWAC game, protect home court. Blue Devils definitely doing that. We got Connor uh, Cook uh, directing in graphics. Bryce Kimmel on camera. He's missed three straight. Three straight. Uh, Good uh, thing they're not what, in a ball what, game. What could have been a night for him though, right? If, oh, he, yeah. if he does have 20. I saw a uh, YouTube video the other day about Roy Williams talking about free throw shooting. I forgot the quote that he used. I'll make it four, but I forgot the, the travel. Foul. Number 11 shooting. Call the foul on Durst. one, Durst. I forgot the quote that he used, but it's like a quote I want to remember, and I'm going to tell you it whenever I remember I find the, other, the video. But he was something along the lines of, you can't make a free throw. Then you can't make a layup, and if you can't make a free, th you can't make a layup. You can't make a jump shot. You can't make a jump shot. You can't make a three pointer. And it just went like on and on, and saying like how a free throw is the most important shot there is in basketball. Because although they're worth the least, the ball games come down to that. Yep, they're free. And I remember when I used to play, my mom used to get on my butt. Oh. Oh. Slow down. Slow down. Good pass, Colton. Nice pass, yep. Go up. Go up again. Oh! Uh, Gibbons, Mays, and Browning couldn't hit those little bunnies tonight. Just wouldn't fall. I'm going to say another three-pointer. Oh, yep, here it comes. Somebody's going to shoot it. Oh, good defense. Oh, get him with his arm. Excuse me. Oh, it wasn't. I think he hit oh, him with his arm. It's because it's two. Who got him? Uh, believe your son. Colton got him after. Uh, I guess it wouldn't matter. Oh, he makes one. Yeah. At 50, that had some pretty good minutes there and played decent in your JV game. If he, if he wants to be a good basketball player. He's got the size. He's got the size. <laughs> Two and 30 to go. But I fin didn't finish. Jason Robbins, our producer, does a great job. Short. Jump. That coach is right. They're not going to call over the back if you don't box out. Good, good oh, John. Two and 16 to go. Algonac ball. Well, the Blue Devils protected home court tonight. Oh, yeah, that's going to get three. Yeah, that's a frustration foul to John. Yeah. They got a game at Emily this week, and I don't know much about Emily this year. Uh, they're the usual Emily, tall, super yeah. fundamental, disciplined. Well, that that sophomore they got is pretty good. Oh he yeah. Up on varsity last year as a freshman. I forget his name. Yeah, I can't remember his name either. He was at Almont for a while, and he, yes. went, he yeah. went there last yeah. year. Yeah. 
that uh, tough place to play though, like oh you said. My Lord. Too many bad memories. It's, it's yellowish lighting. It's like, the, it's like if it's like worse than Almont. So that's kind of hard to beat. <laughs> that is hard to beat. There's First from deep. Oh, oh, double rolled around. Oh, move, Colton. Yep. Can't do that. Can you try dunk. Oh. Gonna look like a good uh, good night in the book. I want to check uh. it. Logan shooting it from deep. Oh, you got a foul shot. Good sportsmanship there by Logan. He accidentally hit 32 in the back of the head. Yeah. Pat him and said, sorry about that. 1 and 31 to go. You're rich and don't foul. Let the clock roll. Box out. Good defense, John. Now that's not good. Now that. You know, we were talking before the game started about announcers. You know, some of them. You got Bill, you know, Rafferty. Yes. One of the best oh. ever. You know, he's the one that's oh, iconic. Little man, little man, the man. Or little just, nickel dimer. Little nickel dimer. Little nickel with dimer. the kiss. Yeah, with the kiss off the glass. And then when they 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 hit it, you know, nothing but that you know, onions. Yes. You yes. know, he's one of the best. You Dick Vitale. Dick, oh, Dickie V. I love Dickie V. Take Vitale. Dickie it, V's a Tar Heel fan too. He, oh, absolutely. He doesn't admit to it, but no. he is. And um, him and uh, Brad Nessler yep. did all those games with him. I like uh, Jay Billis. Yeah, not bad for a Duke guy. No. Not a big Dukey, no. you know, of course. But, uh, See, that's what people don't understand. Like, North Carolina Duke and is kind of, especially in basketball, is way worse than Michigan Michigan State. Oh, it, it's the biggest. Like, living there? It's the oh, biggest. Oh, it is. There's there's a different there's a different blues go around. There's Tar Heel blue and then there's Duke blue, Royal blue. Yep. And then of all things in the triangle, you have a uh, the Wolf Pack, red. <laughs> yeah, and they're all within half And then what, half Wake hour Forest is other? also really good. It's Chris Paul. An hour away. Yep. Yeah, that's Tobacco Road there. Oh that's, yeah. It doesn't get any better than that basketball wise. Yes. I remember in like he has at least twenty. Yeah, he's close. I remember in in five uh, five years, Carolina or Duke either won it or was it in the final for like five straight years. Oh, call time. He's got to still follow a shot. Oh, guy's gonna say he makes that. He might be near thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. So Blue Devils 63. Elginac 52. People are going to look at the paper tomorrow and yeah. say, What happened? Say, What happened? Elginac must have played them tough. And uh, yeah, sir. it was uh, a lot of bodies coming in and a out. A lot of bodies, a lot of playing time. Which is good for It's a good game for that. Yep. Get the morale of the kids up. I don't see a lot of playing time just because of the, their minutes. Or and their you escape injury. Yes. You know, so. So Keith Bartels, Chase Churchill. There's some talking going on here at the uh, handshaking line. Anyways, Blue Devils protect home court. They got a tough game at Emily City. It's always tough away. Yes. Keith Bartels, Chase Churchill bring you Richmond Varsity Basketball. Connor Cook tonight directing and graphics. Bryce Kimmel on camera. We will uh, be back for more Tuesday. Blue Devil games. Yeah, next Tuesday already. I think it's Tuesday. Uh, yeah, and uh, we have three girls games, oh, I think. Yeah. Three girls games and three boys games left. Um, Jason Robbins does a great job producing for us. Yes. Any final words, Coach? No, sir. All right. Go Blue. Go Blue.